What's up guys? Um, Spells King here. I just want to make a quick little video intro here describing this first mom chat that I had on stream. Decided I wanted to start calling mom a little bit on live streams. Um, I, I think it'll be a lot of fun as we keep getting into it. She's a little uptight here for this first one, I think, but we got her relaxed about midway through, so it starts a little slow, but once we got her chat, and I think she was enjoying herself. And so it's something I want to do again. Basically, um, this, this first mom chat, what I tried to do was... Um, ask her opinion about uh, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, uh, got her to tell a story about me when I was younger, broke my arm, uh, swimming with nine girls, uh, big pimping, all that good stuff. And um, also got, got her into talking about like speeding tickets and getting arrested and stuff like that. Um, almost getting arrested a few times, but not actually saying anything about that. But um, <laughs> anyways, it was a lot of fun. And I think that's what we're, I'm going to be able to keep doing is kind of like keep getting her in. And she was way more comfortable by the end. Um, than she was at first. I think she was really nervous at first. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, probably a little bit longer than I normally do, but um, I think it's pretty sweet and it's a lot of fun and something I definitely want to keep doing and maybe even start calling like other people too. Um, but right now, this is mom. This is mom call number one, guys. Peace. Spells King. Enjoy the video. We'll see you again soon. Later, guys. Toes in the water. Hands in Girls. Yeah. Nine of them. Yep. Hello? Hello. <laughs> I'm on the phone. You see it? You see everything? What? You see it? You see everything? It's going good. I see you on the tube. Yeah. Or on the computer. Right. Okay. So, so what do you think? What do you, what do you think? I see you. Yeah? Well, I mean, what do you think, though? I mean, how's it look? <laughs> I don't know what to think. Okay. Okay. What do you think of, like, uh, uh, the name, like, Spells King? What? My name on here, Spells King? What do you think of that? Yeah, Spells King? Yeah. Yeah, that's my name, right? On here? Is that your name? Yeah. Gives me a little bit of a start. A little bit? What, yes. uh, what, uh, what do you think it means? What do I think of you with your shades on? <laughs> you like the shades, though? You like the shades? <laughs> do you like the shades? I suppose. Yeah. That's good. Especially when the sunlight is bright. Pedro's my son. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here right now, but I like to wear them, so. Um, hello? Okay. You hear, are, you, are you talking through the phone, or are you listening through the internet? I'm talking to the phone. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so this is, this is, uh, kind of what I do a little bit. I'm trying to do this more. And I thought it would be fun uh, to give you a little call here and uh, just kind of see how you see how you think about uh, what you think about it. What what do you think of like uh, what do you think of like uh, the the first person shooter like the shoot 'em up, bang 'em up stuff, as you call it? What do I think about it? Yeah, like what's your opinion? Because you always used to give me garbage about playing the shoot 'em up, bang 'em up video games. Yeah. It, it just seems to me that you could be spending your time. Yeah. It, it just seems to me that you're so intelligent, you could be spending your time in so many more beneficial ways. You think so? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. No, that's fair. <coughs> um, I, uh, I appreciate the compliment about the intelligence. Let's see here. I have, I, you wanna you wanna just answer some? Are you are you okay right now, or how are you feeling? L Mom, listen to me in the phone. Listen to me in the phone. I can hear you on the phone. You can hear me on the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so are you are you good? Are you good? You wanna you wanna let me ask you a couple questions? I suppose. Okay. Um. So what what are your what are your opinions on uh, like the upcoming election? Uh, 
if, if you don't mind me asking. I'd rather not talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I probably don't disagree with you, actually. I'd rather not discuss that. Right. No, that's that's fine. That's kind of my opinion, too, so. Oh, very discouraging. Yeah. A little bit of a freak show, for sure. So, how's Dad doing? He's fine. Yeah? Wondering what the heck you're doing right now, or what? Yes. <laughs> that's good. Um... Let's see here. I had some other kind of like spontaneous. Uh... So, oh, oh, oh! Why don't you, uh, why don't you tell the story, um, or as you remember it, of the birthday that we spent, uh, your birthday that was spent uh, in the emergency room. Oh, I could tell that story. Yeah, let's hear it from from you your were, from your you perspective. Were in second grade. Third grade. Third grade. And you were shooting buckets by the garage basketball hoop. Yep. And it was a beautiful day, April 26th. Yep. And you would shoot the basket, and then you'd jump up and grab the basket. Yep. Dunk it, and try to dunk it. Try to try to dunk it and try to do a Michael Jordan. Yep. Because you had seen him do that a couple of times. Yep. And your father was working in the garage, which is really close to the basketball hoop. Mm hmm And all of a sudden he heard this thud. Yes, you tried to dunk it, but... You didn't hang on the way you expected to. Right. And that thud that your father heard was your body hitting the cement sidewalk in the driveway. Yep. So you walked into the house with your father, and your dad said he fell flat on his back, and I'm afraid he might have broken something because it's <laughs> a thud took your breath away. Yeah. So you came inside and I said, why don't you just lay down on the couch for a little bit and just try to relax and we'll see if there's a problem here that we need to deal with or what. And it was my birthday, so we were supposed to do dinner out and the whole business, right? Yep. So you're laying there on the couch and your arm is just kind of hanging and you were kind of moaning like there was pain. Right. So I said to your father, we have got to get it checked or we might be sorry. So we went to emergency and saw the orthopedic surgeon on duty thinking there might be a broken bone. Yep. And when they took an x-ray, they did find a fractured bone. Yep. And so the orthopedic surgeon on duty put a cast on it. And by that time, it's late in the afternoon. So yeah, we, we shot most of the day we, waiting. Yeah, we were there all day, for sure. Yes. And then when the cast was on it, this wonderful orthopedic surgeon that was really a gem of a guy said, <laughs> all right then, James, we'll see you in two weeks. And I think you thought he was going to take that cast off in two weeks. I did. Because you knew that there was a swimming party with your class for the... 10 best readers in yep. the class, nine of which were girls and one of which was James. <laughs> yeah. It's big pimping, baby. And that was coming up right. just after the two weeks. Yep. So when we took you back to the orthopedic surgeon, you were thinking the cast was coming off. I wanted to go swimming. 
I wanted and to go. He uh, was thinking he was just going to give it a little check to see how you were <clears> doing. <throat> mm-hmm. So when he gave it a little check, he thought you were doing really well, and he said, "Okay, James, and we'll see you in about another month." Yep. And your eyes just dropped like. Oh, no. I'll miss the swimming party. I wanted to go swimming with the girls. So you left the orthopedic surgeon's office with the droopiest look on your face, like you probably felt like that cast was going to be on there for way too long, and you could not swim with a big cast on your arm. Mm -hmm. So we left, and you were in the doldrums thinking the swimming party was just a dream that would never happen right and that's the whole story yeah but the fact of the matter is when the swimming party did happen yep i your mother herself was one of the chaperones to help the teacher with the best reading students i remember yep and when we got to the pool we wrapped the garbage bag on that <laughs> cast <laughs> so that your cast wouldn't get wet or your arm wouldn't get wet under it or anything like that. Right. And you sat on the edge of the pool with your feet, toes in the water, girls, yep. nine of them. Yep. It's big pimpin', baby. Throwing you beach balls and water toys and all kinds of things. <laughs> And you got more attention with your cast on and the garbage bag <laughs> keeping it dry than you would have ever gotten if you hadn't had the broken arm. Yeah, probably. I got I got a few sympathy well, points. Well. Yeah, I got a few sympathy points for sure. Yep. Now that's the whole story. Yep. Do you need any more information? No, no, I think that's that's pretty good. We're watching like me play basketball. Cause I used to remember like shooting free throws and stuff. And if I made the free throw, I'd hear you go, yes! You know? Yeah, because I was proud of you. Yeah. I was proud of you, and of course I wanted your team and my son to win. Yep. So when you succeed, either with the free throw or just during the game, yep. I very often say yes! Mm. With enthusiasm, because well, that's what I wanted to see. I think that was a little more mild-mannered than... Uh, the way you used oh, to I say really it. Oh, I really would say it? Yeah, for sure. Should I say it like I used to say it? Well, I mean, if you got it in you. <laughs> of course I've got it in me. <laughs> Except I'm too embarrassed to say it because this is on the phone and not in the gymnasium with hundreds of people yeah. around absorbing the sound. No, that's true. And I'm but sure, I would get into it. I'm sure Dad would probably wonder, uh, wonder what was going on anyways at that point. All right, well, um, shoot, I had other things I was going to actually say. Let me look real quick. Everybody's watching her, but she's looking at you. Ooh, ooh, you ooh, ooh. So do you, have, uh, do you have anything else that you want to you wanna say about um, anything? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, maybe like my taste in music. Uh, Relative to you, relative to yours, or um, you know, a few like interesting experiences with me driving, or anything like that that comes to mind right away, or or, or would like to talk about. Well, you know, when when you were driving, we always told you that. Yes, we told you that if you got a speeding ticket, it was your tab. Yep. Did you hear that? I did. Yeah. But you never got any. Uh, I got. You, I got one. Until you were, that was that was when you were in college, and you you knew that was your tab, so we didn't have to warn you about it because <laughs> we knew that, that that was your problem. Yep. Also, also, but, but that was kind of a that hmm. was kind of an innocent. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever told you this, so maybe I should tread lightly here. But Dad, I think Dad knows about it, so don't be mad at Dad either. But I did get a, a seatbelt violation in Apple Valley, so I had to pay like fifty bucks because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Now I find out. Right. It was just a Apple Valley uh, police, and he saw me at a stop sign, and he pulled me over, wrote me a citation for it. <laughs> that was already that last semester that you were living in Apple Valley? Yeah, yep. 
that's the first time I've heard of it. I know. I probably shouldn't have said that because I'm worried that dads don't be uh, don't be upset at dad about it. Did your father know about it? Yeah. Oh, and what did he say? <laughs> he gave me one of his uh, Jim, like Jimmy. Like he looked at me and he said Jim. Okay, well of course he'd say Jim. <laughs> I know. That's about it. Well, how many years ago was that? <laughs> uh, at this point, probably uh, four or five, I suppose. And this is the first I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, I you guess. Keep secrets very well, James. Oh, secrets! Keep secrets. It wasn't that. It wasn't that big a deal. I was extremely disappointed uh, that the guy pulled me over in the first place. I think he was a little bit bored because. Um, it was literally between the gas station I went to and uh, their house, you know. And I've driven that. I drove. I drove that back and forth probably, you know, two hundred times, three hundred times. And just one time, I, I didn't put the seatbelt on, and I saw the guy sitting there. And I was like, "Oh, he's not going to do anything." And then I looked, and sure enough, there he was. So, meantime, it was a four-way stop. So I think there was probably like five or six other people. Um, that rolled through the stop sign as he was writing me a ticket for my seatbelt. I came, I came to a complete stop, by the way. I, I uh, once I started to tell it, I remembered that you uh, were unaware. Makes me wonder how many more secrets that haven't been told. Well, I've never, uh, never been arrested or anything like that, so. Uh, okay, that is hope in that. You right. Betcha. Mm -hmm. Just close a few times. Just close a few times. Oh. Arrested close? <laughs> Just a few times. Well, I think uh, I think I'll let you go here, but this is kind of fun, I think. So. Is this it? Yeah. I think this I'll. Is easier than, this is easier than I thought. I know. That's why I was telling you not to be so worried. Hmm? That's why I was saying not to be so worried. Now you can have yourself a good weekend. Yep. Always good to talk to you, Jim. Yep, you too. Appreciate it, by the way. This is fun. I think we, sh love. we should try to do this some more, actually, I think. This is fun. Have a good one. Yep. See ya. Bye now. Bye-bye.